Three minutes ago, the Virtual Telescope Project pulled up with a surprise drop and released fresh images of interstellar comet 3i Atlas. This is our first real look at the comet since it slipped out from behind the sun, and the new visuals are already raising eyebrows. Scientists were expecting a certain level of activity after its close pass, but what we're seeing right now doesn't line up with any of those expectations. When the Virtual Telescope Project grabbed new images on November 5th and 6th, the comet didn't look anything like the same object people were staring at in August. Instead of the giant comma, the long tail, and all that dusty activity, 3i Atlas showed up as a tiny compact point of light. What made this even more strange is that the new look matched what the Hubble Space Telescope saw long before perihelion. Hubble captured a compact little dot back then too, but that was before the sun heated it up and triggered that huge outburst. The VTP images showing the same compact shape now make it look like the comet's activity didn't just slow down, it collapsed after it passed the sun. And to make this clearer, let me put it next to something normal. Comet Lemon which was photographed just two days before the VTP took these new images. Looks like what you'd expect from a comet at this stage. Lemon still has a big bright tail. It still shows a clear structure. It still looks like a comet trying to survive the sun's heat. Meanwhile, 3i Atlas looks like it went bald overnight. No tail, no dust cloud. Nothing to show that it just lost a huge amount of mass only weeks earlier. Most comets, even when they calm down, still show leftover dust trailing behind them. Residual debris linger for days or weeks because it takes time for solar radiation to push it away. But 3i Atlas skipping all of that and showing up as a clean little point is just strange. It's the kind of behavior that forces astronomers to question whether this object is built differently from what we're used to studying in our own solar system. And if you think this fall off is dramatic, wait till you see what Mars saw just a month earlier. During its close pass on October 3rd, the comet rolled by about 30 million kilometers from the planet, which basically put every Mars orbiter in the perfect spot to watch the show. Tianwen-1, Maven, and Mars Express all had front row seats, and what they saw makes the comet's sudden silence even harder to explain. Tianwen-1 especially came through with the receipts. Between October 1st and 4th, it captured clear images showing a bright, well-defined nucleus wrapped in a big active comma. The comma stretched out several thousand kilometers, and you could tell the comet was pushing out gas and dust at full power. Nothing about it seemed weak or fading. It was doing everything a heated comet is supposed to do after getting close to the sun. And this wasn't some quick pause in activity either. The Mars flyby happened after perihelion, which means the comet had already passed the point where solar heating should have been strongest. Yet it was still firing off gas and dust like it had plenty left in the tank. So, the fact that it goes from this level of activity in early October to looking like a tiny silent pinprick in November? The switch up is unreal. And that leads to the big question, where did all that material go? To figure that out, you've got to look at the numbers coming from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. JPL tracked the comet's motion and noticed it wasn't just drifting through space nicely. It was being shoved around by uneven outgassing, so hard that the acceleration reached up to 94 kilometers per day squared at perihelion. That is a lot of force for a comet. You don't get that kind of acceleration unless the object is losing a serious amount of mass in a very uneven way. When scientists ran the calculations, the results pointed to something big. 3i Atlas may have dumped at least 13% of its total mass during its close encounter with the sun. And here's the part that isn't adding up. With that much mass blasting off into space, you would expect a long dust trail hanging behind it for weeks. That dust should stick around, sunlight should push it outward, and any telescope should be able to catch traces of it. But the new images show nothing. It just looks like a bare point of light moving along its path like the whole meltdown never happened. So scientists are basically split into two theories. The first theory is the heavy dust explanation. Instead of kicking out light powdery dust that forms those long bright comet tails, 3i Atlas might have been throwing out huge dense particles. These heavier grains don't get pushed around by sunlight as easily. They fall back, clump together, or drift slowly instead of spreading into a big glowing fan. If this is true, the comet could have lost a ton of material without leaving the dramatic visual mess we usually see. Meanwhile, the second theory takes things in a completely different direction. 
Instead of focusing on the dust, scientists are now wondering if the comet itself is just built bigger and tougher than anything we've seen before. According to early estimates, 3i Atlas could be more than 5 kilometers wide and weigh around 33 billion tons. If that number holds up, it means we're not dealing with the usual small, fragile ice bodies that wander through our solar system. We might be looking at a massive interstellar chunk with enough weight and density to handle a close pass around the sun, without blowing itself apart or producing a long-lasting dust cloud. And that changes the whole picture. If the comet really is this huge, it can lose a huge amount of mass without showing it the way smaller comets do. A lightweight comet losing even a tiny portion of its material looks messy. But a stronger, heavier comet can shed tons of material and still hold itself together without leaving a glowing trail that hangs in space for weeks. Basically, a comet that size can eat the sun's heat, spit out a chunk of itself, and walk away looking clean. If this turns out to be the case, then 3i Atlas isn't just an odd comet. It might truly be different from the typical icy bodies we study around here. And coming from another star system, it might have formed in a totally different environment with materials and structures we don't see locally. So the strange behavior we're watching might just be normal for whatever neighborhood this thing originally came from. And that's exactly why the new VTP images are such a big deal. Right now, most observatories still can't get a proper look at the comet because it's too close to the sun. The glare makes it nearly impossible for traditional telescopes to track it. But the Virtual Telescope Project managed to catch the comet right as it re-emerged from solar conjunction. These images are the first receipts showing how the comet looks after losing so much mass and going through such extreme heating. Before VTP captured these new visuals, scientists had no idea how the comet's activity changed after perihelion. They had the Mars data showing wild activity in early October, and then they had nothing until VTP delivered this new snapshot. And now we finally see the personality shift from a huge, energetic, active body to a tiny, quiet point of light. This gives astronomers a starting point to figure out what went down during those weeks when nobody could watch it. But what's next? Well, ground-based telescopes will finally start tracking it again in December, as it moves farther away from the sun. Once the glare fades, everyone will be watching closely to see if its activity comes back, or if it stays quiet. Meanwhile, the Mars Orbiter data is becoming the next big piece of the puzzle. Tianwen-1 didn't just take pictures, it also captured high-resolution spectra, which can tell scientists what kinds of materials the comet was putting out. Astronomers also want to know if the comet will wake up again. Sometimes comets go quiet after a solar pass, only to reactivate once they cool down. Other times, the outgassing shuts off for good because the surface gets sealed or the volatile materials get used up. With 3i Atlas, nobody knows which way it's going to go. If it suddenly turns active again in December or January, that's one story. If it stays silent, that's a completely different mystery. But until then, here's the bottom line. 3i Atlas went from hyperactive, jet-spitting chaos to a compact, silent object, faster than anything scientists have ever tracked. Nothing about this switch matches the usual pattern of comets inside our solar system. And the new VTP images confirm that this interstellar visitor is not interested in following the rules or moving like anything we know.